George Free Reuters emergency care providers are still feeling the effects of an IV bag shortage caused by Hurricane Maria's devastating landfall a year ago. He's had to hire another person in his supply chain to look across the country for IV bags. His department has had to pay up to 10 times what it normally would for certain medication infused saline bags because of the short supply. And most concerning, Jancare's ambulances now go out with three or four bags instead of the eight to ten they normally would. I'll tell you, as of two weeks ago, our supplier for bags of saline has no bags available, said Augustine, who's also on the board of directors at the American College of Emergency Physicians. So it may feel like it's different, but in fact, when you ask the distributors, can I buy a box of saline, it's as bad as it was a year ago. Ultimately, saline is not part of the emergency drug stockpile, says Aaron Fox, the senior director of the University of Utah's Drug Information Services, who tracks drug shortages for the American Society of Health System Pharmacists. But, she argues, it probably should be, considering how such a shortage of the essential product has devastated the healthcare system. When we think about how hospitals absolutely require saline to run on any given day, and they need thousands and thousands of bags to do it, it seems odd that they don't consider that supply chain," Fox said, adding that protecting the supply chain should be a part of a national security conversation. Take Hurricane Florence, which is currently ravaging North Carolina home to many pharmaceutical manufacturing plants. While many of the companies have been on high alert, in part after seeing the effects of Maria, the U. S could find itself right back in the throes of another shortage in a cycle that is seemingly unending, Louis St. warned. Hospitals and medical establishments across the country made do with what they could get their hands on. And when they couldn't use the regular bags, nurses or paramedics would have to use syringes to inject directly into a vein or switch out IV-administered drugs for pills when possible. Here in the US we pay the highest prices for pharmaceuticals, more than any other country, and to be short of the most basic products we need is absurd. Aaron Fox, senior director of the University of Utah's Drug Information Services Correction, a previous version of this story, indicated all of Baxter's manufacturing plants were in Puerto Rico. While its main plants for IV saline bags are there, it has other plants elsewhere.